Hello everybody, welcome back to Thieges Notebook Review. I'm your host, Joel Michael. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be experimenting with our Electronics Mech 15 G2R Gaming Notebook. What we want to do in this video is we want to lower our power settings to the CPU to see if we can get our temps lower while we're gaming. So the perfect game to do this with is, of course, Rocket League, because <laughs> this is the only game that I think that I will enjoy actually playing over and over and over again. And the point of this video is we're going to try and maintain that 144 smooth, super smooth gameplay frame rate, but also lower our temperatures and potentially increase the longevity of our CPU. Uh, now when you go into your power settings here, you can go into, uh, let's see, the battery I guess, maybe, no not battery, hang on, power and sleep. So in the power and sleep settings in your menu, over here on the right you have additional power settings. And then with your gaming mode you can change your plan setting. So we're going down here to processor power management and we go down to maximum processor state. Okay, so here we are now at 98%. All I did was I took two ticks off of the power that goes to the CPU and yeah, as you can see, we are down to 2.1 gigahertz <laughs> already. Like I said, 2%. So, uh, Turbo Boost is already totally disabled. <laughs> and uh, our temps are also uh, pretty down, pretty down, far down there. 74 degrees seems to be the norm for this power setting. And we're not getting a full 144 frames per second. It is dipping down to 143 at times. I can't really notice it all that much in the gameplay though, which is good. 90% didn't quite take it, the processor frequency down as far as I would have liked it to go, so we went down to 85%, and as you can see our frame rate is now circling 144 frames per second, but it can't quite get there at 1.8 gigahertz. So we're hovering around just over 100 at times, and wow, that was horrible. But when we get close to the wall, we go back up to 144, so that's not so bad. <laughs> and our temperatures are a little bit lower, it's down to 71 degrees, we were at 74 degrees for our CPU temps before, but our GPU temp seems to be about the same at 75, and our fan isn't totally silent right now, but it is, you know, it's it's not acting up as much as it did before, so that's nice. Okay, now, we cheated a bit. <laughs> I did lower the detail settings. I turned off some world detail, uh, and I took a couple of the options down to, let me just show you here, if you can, I hope you can see this. Yeah, you can. So world detail is now at performance and particle detail is also at performance. Those are the only two things that we changed. And we're cruising along at a near 144 frames per second again, but as you can see, we're playing against dicks. And <laughs> also, I mean, the dude just rammed me. Come on, man, I was on the other side of the field. There was no need. There was no need for that kind of play, son, okay? And I just dropped, got dropped into a game where we are sucking it up really huge. <laughs> Just huge, huge. We're soaking it up huge. And of course our CPU is running at only 1.5 gigahertz right now. It's at 70% power to the CPU. And our GPU is getting hotter. <laughs> it's running not at 75 anymore. Now it's running at 76 and rude! Hey, but I scored! So, what's up now? Ha ha ha, and I got it on video. Dick. I do not rage quit. Ever. Let's make that clear. Let's just make that understood right now. I never rage quit a game, even if we're down like zero to ten, and my other two teammates leave. I will not quit. I will totally stand around and just dick around and waste all y'all's time. 
Okay, here we are. We're at 55% power to the CPU. We're cruising along at 1.2 gigahertz. And we're still getting over 100 frames per second. That just goes to showcase the raw power of the RTX 2060 GPU in this thing. It is really amazing. But we're getting less than 144 frames per second and we can definitely see, we can see the lag in the menu. Every time we change the frame rate dips and that's because it's processor bound. <laughs> it's so slow. That just goes to show you what down clocking 8 megabytes of L3 cache does to you. <sighs> Let's take off the high quality shaders, ambient occlusion, depth of field bloom, and dynamic shadows, and motion blur. There we go. Wow, the game looks ugly now. Look at that, I don't have any shadows underneath my car. I can't, I'm floating. I'm floating. Everyone's floating. Everyone's floating. But I'm not going to lower the texture detail. So we're not even getting back up to 144 frames per second here. Which is, I mean, this isn't pathetic by any means. We're still, you know, working with a CPU that's limiting itself to 1.2 gigahertz, which is less than half of its speed it normally goes. It's like a, it's, it's less than a third of the speed that it normally goes. Because remember, we were going at 3.9 gigahertz at first, and yeah, we scored. I couldn't really see any celebration of the score because, you know, the detail level was down so low, but we scored. And that is super exciting. And our temps are also better, 69 degrees. And the fans aren't going super crazy. They're still uh, they're still on. You probably can't hear the fans all that much, but they are still you know spinning. But they're not going super crazy like they do. And the oof, <laughs> it's <laughs> it still burns me when I touch that part. Okay, so we turned everything back on, and now our frame rates are going. Are they still hovering about 100 frames per second? Nice. Okay, now the action's going on. It's it's diving down a little bit, but for the most part, I mean, it's still going above 60, so that's respectable. Winner, 100% Angus Beef. You know what? I don't mind losing to a team that's named 100% Angus Beef. I think that's pretty fun. Are we done, though? No, no, we're not done. We're going to run 3D Mark now. We're going to run the Fire Strike benchmark to see what kind of score we get at less than one third of the total CPU clock. I'm predicting we're going to score about 8,000. Overall, though, this isn't going half bad. I think we get right around 80 frames per second. Man, this is a very GPU-bound test right here. But when we get to the CPU test, that's where things are going to get super interesting. Okay, keep in mind that when we do the CPU test, normally the fans spin as fast as it possibly can over the CPU. We're going to see how loud it gets. The physics test still loads pretty fast, but oh, man. Less than 20 frames per second. And it's skipping. Oh, it skipped to load <laughs> MSI Afterburner. <laughs> but yeah, less than 20 frames per second at 1.2 gigahertz. And the fan just spooled down in the middle of the test. It usually spools up, and it spooled down. And the temp stayed below 70 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cool. Okay, now we're coming up to the combined test in Fire Strike. We normally get about 30 frames per second on this machine. Oof. Yeah. Less than half of the frame rate we normally get. And yeah, normally we're getting about 30, 31, 32 frames per second right about now. And we're sinking down to 10. But the fan isn't going all that fast. And the CPU and GPU temps are pretty low. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
it's not that we're torturing the poor thing. We're just kind of, you know, choking it a little bit. <laughs> 8,000. What did I what did I assume we were going to get? I think I said we're going to get about 8,000. I think that's what I was hoping for. And it's right there at 8,000. Valid score. Okay. So, well, this was a video about choking the life out of the electronics Mech 15 G2R. Thank you very much for watching, and you guys... Have a good night.